Now, the number of homeless people in South Africa is constantly on the rise. Now, using a combination of ingenuity and clever design, Street Sleeper, an innovative new project, is working to tackle challenges faced by the homeless. Now, to combat this, they are upcycling old PVC billboards into survival sleeping bags. And once uh, destined for the landfills, these upcycled sleeping bags now provide shelter for, uh, for those that are, that are obviously out there in the cold and the rain. Now, joining us in studio this morning to talk to us about the original new project uh, in Cape Town is Street Sleeper innovator Oliver Brain. Thank you very much for being with us this morning. Thank you. So, what prompted you to come up with this idea, which I think is absolutely brilliant? Um, so, I find that I just wasn't actually being an integrated member of my own community. There was quite a lot of social awkwardness that I had when, when interacting with homeless people and I really wanted to do something which could help. Yeah. So I decided to focus on the most, you know, one of the most core issues and yeah. that is providing shelter for them. Yeah. And I, I wanted to create a transparent and easy platform that I could do it from and that anyone else who wanted to help the homeless could also interact with. So you're basically moved by everyday life as you're walking around doing your shopping and then a homeless person might come up to you and ask for that's exactly what it is, you know. I mean, just because somebody is homeless doesn't mean they aren't a part of your community, doesn't mean they don't actually live in your neighborhood. So yeah. for me, it really was, you know, lowering some of these social barriers that we have in our society yeah. and, and raising awareness on the issue of homelessness yeah. as well. And of course, there are thousands of these unfortunate people that are on the streets and every day you see them under trees and it might have rained the previous night and they're still there. And now you've, you've brought up this idea, which is amazing. Now, how do you go about distributing this thing? So for us, I mean, in the beginning, it just started as a passion project. So yeah. what I did was I made up a couple of bags and I would go and I'd actually sort of meet the homeless people and, and have a conversation with them and then ask them if they would like to have a bag. And okay. that's how we that would you give made it yourself? I made myself, yeah. yeah. So the beginning, it was really a bootstrap project couple of prototypes out there, sewing machine in my garage, and we just got it out there. Dude. Now, we, we really want to identify some of the change makers in all the communities throughout South Africa. So yeah. we talk to people and we say, listen, if you want to run a campaign, go ahead, you can do that. Ask us how many bags you need, we'll make them up for you, we'll send them over to you, and, and you can be the ones who distribute them, and you can create that sense of value and awareness in your, in your own neighborhood. Wow. And I understand that you've uh, already distributed over 450 sleeping bags so far, right? Yeah, so we started 14 months ago, beginning of last winter. Last winter we did 450. Um, this winter, in total, we're up to about 840 bags. Wow, man. And the goal by the end of the year would be to do 1,500. Yeah. Tell me about some of your success stories. I think we're looking at one right here. Yeah, so that's, that's Patrick Williams. I mean, I wouldn't say any, any story is more successful than the others, but for us, what's really great is just is seeing how, 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 how happy and, and appreciative the people are that do receive the bags, mm. you know. So for me, this is the thing is that homeless people, wow. just because they're sleeping on the street doesn't mean that they don't have a story, they don't have a past, you know, can't be a contributor. So for me, one of the biggest success stories is just actually being able to, to engage with these people on a daily basis. And, yeah. and, and I really take a lot away from it on a personal level. Yeah. And, and I think everyone feels you know, a lot more integrated in their own yeah. communities. Yeah, and I think I, I get the sense that you're a very emotionally connected person. So as you discover these people's stories and you find out more about them, you know that they have their own dreams that they want to pursue and they want to do things in life. Do you see this project going any further than just sleeping bags? Yeah, that's, that's our vision, you know, our vision is to expand the street sleeper network to, to other cities, you know, throughout South Africa. Yeah. And, and the way that we go about doing it as well, we work with homeless people to actually create employment. So they make the bags wow. um, for us, and then we, we work with them to distribute the bags as well. And, and the plan would be to move into sort of other types of lifestyle accessories, you know, wallets, phone covers, uh, you know, computer Dude. bags and things like that. Digging that. <laughs> that is so cool, <laughs> man. You. And I really hope that this project takes, well, takes flight and sees great, great success in the future. Thank you so, awesome. so much. Wow, Thank what you. a great initiative in our very own backyard, Street Sleeper, which is helping homeless people in Cape Town to stay safe and warm this winter. And we know how cold those winter nights can be. Now, Oliver will be back with us a little bit later on in the show to uh, talk to us about the process from billboard to sleeping bag, which is really amazing. So make sure you don't miss out on that.